So yeah, I make another Brave Guard. Because the other one's FPS looked like this, and it didn't have all the info I wanted it to have. Anyways, I'll be showing you how to improve your gameplay as Brave and some Shark Scissor. Additionally, Brave is one of the most debatably worst characters right now, so I'd like to give you tips to play Brave as best as possible. Okay, let's go over this hidden perk that Brave has. Yes, this might be only one thing, but if you use correctly, it can make your fights a little easier. So, Brave gets one increment of Counter-Strike when hitting the neighbor. But if you notice, you get two increments when saving someone from the neighbor. So you could throw two items, one of the neighbor to save up a teammate, and the other afterwards, getting your Counter-Strike full. Now, I'm not saying bait your teammates so you can get a full Counter-Strike easier, but it's something to keep in mind. Okay, now let's talk about playstyles. There are three playstyles that might suit your style. A distraction role, a play with the team role, and an independent role, if you're not into teamwork. The distraction role. This playstyle revolves around by becoming bait for the team. You lure the neighbor in circles by any means possible. Blocking doors, candy bars, whatever. This role is great for your team to not have to worry about the neighbor, because they just find all the keys. Brave is a great role for this, as they can save themselves if they are caught. Also, because Brave has no abilities to help the team. This role is also really nice if you enjoy knowing the neighbor. Just stick to clown neighbors. Okay, now a team role. If you want to play Brave as a support, I recommend being some sort of front lines unit. You try to be the kid that the neighbor needs to catch, as you are their closest target. But not get yourself killed at the same time. It can take some practice for positioning, but otherwise, braving a sort of aggro tank is your best bet for playing support. This role is literally just a role for playing solo. If you don't enjoy team play, there isn't much to say about this role, as Brave's kit revolves around playing with the team. If you're playing alone, just be sure to find keys quickly and be careful. Your team might get mad at you for leaving them and be less likely to save you. Okay, here's a few tips and tricks. If you're fighting a scary neighbor and get caught, wait out the rage buff and then use counter strike. If you use it, yes, it'll be free, but the neighbor won't be stunned. The stun on counter strike is pretty valuable as it's longer than an item throw, so take advantage. Generally, your teammates will see you as the one to fight the neighbor, so I recommend only getting keys if time is your enemy. Avoid item strafing. Item strafing is what I call the method of charging the neighbor and then hitting with them an item and running past him. It doesn't work as well as Brave because sometimes the neighbor will catch you before the item actually hits the neighbor, mostly due to the grab range slash lag, which means that you'll lose your entire counter strike, which is annoying. So be careful when item strafing. Also, talking about the stun time on counter strike again, if you throw an item at the neighbor, the stun time on the counter strike will be removed and converted to the thrown item. Which means that if you throw an item right after the Counter-Strike happens, well, the stun time will be less. Most likely you won't be able to do this, but if a teammate does it, then they are lowering the stun time. So this is more of a tip for everyone else, and not you personally. Tips for baseball ability. When people use Brave's item deflect ability, I only see them spam it, which works, but if you'd like to learn more about it, here are some tips for using it. Timing it can help train your ability to find out when someone is throwing an item at you, which is just a generally useful skill. Additionally, the vat has a certain protection area that areas with deflects items. That's why it can be helpful but also unreliable to spam it. Picture a rectangle around the bat. Brave swings it from the right, brings it up to her face, and then lowers it down on the left. Which means you're protected from the above in front of you when it's covering your face. On the right side, when it's on the right, and on left, on left, you get the point. Last thing, Brave can't deflect Butcher's Hook or Scout's Walnuts. Dealing with Braves is pretty simple as long as you remember the fact that their bat only protects them in certain areas. So if you're chasing them, get used to the pattern of them spamming it. That's why it's kind of easy to take down spammers because you can just follow the pattern and strike in a certain area when the bat is not protecting that area. That's why it's kind of important to realize that protective area for the bat is. And finally, playing the neighbor as brave. Well, her abilities don't really have much besides her deflect, which can help allow you to regenerate your health back. But at the same time, some neighbors have the ability to just do that better. Really, I'd only find that spamming or trying to deflect with, well, 
skill <laughs> is good in outside scenarios or when you're away from a neighbor door. I hope this helps you play very well. Brave is a character that could be really fun, I'd say, if given a rework. And to be honest, it needs one because, well, it's not very good right now. Brave.